What's happening? Hello world and welcome to your 17th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and today I'm going to be showing you how to add filters to indexes. So to get started, let's go ahead, go ahead and collect or connect, not collect, to an instance of SQL Server. Then we're going to go to our databases folder and expand that. We're looking for AdventureWorks 2012. We're going to expand that. Expand the table folders. Go down to sales dot sales order header. Just like in the last tutorial, we're going to go to indexes and expand this. And we're going to the ix underscore sales order header underscore order date non-clustered index, we're going to properties. Now from here, we're going to the filter section, and now we're going to type in online order flag equals zero. All right, online order flag equals zero. Looks good. We're going to click OK, OK, and there you have it. I just showed you how to add a filter to an index using Management Studio. And I'll show you how to do the same thing with a T-SQL script. Please copy this down. Um, and you can use it at a later date. You can modify it to do whatever you need for it to do. Execute. Commands completed successfully. You are now a rock star when it comes to adding filters to indexes. And just as included columns enhance the capabilities of a non-clustered index, so do filters. Filters, filtered indexes, excuse me, optimize non-clustered index performance by using a filter to predicate to redefine data down to a small subset. So as a result, you have a smaller index that requires less storage and maintenance and offers improved performance. Pretty cool. Filtered indexes are ideal for columns that contain a smaller set of pertinent values for queries. So, thanks for watching this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you in my next tutorial. Bye.